good morning. Uh, good morning from the beach. I don't even think you can see me at all this morning. Uh, I'm down, uh, down County Down. I'm down under the beach here this morning. I was down here a fortnight ago on the beach. There was a lot of curlews and stuff on the beach, oyster catchers, all that kind of stuff. So I've come back again this morning. See a good bit of stuff along the edge of the water there. So there's rocks here beside me. It's sort of stretched into the sea. I'm gonna tuck myself in next to the rocks here for an hour. It's only five past seven. What date's the day? 14th of October, I think. Five past seven. Sunrise isn't until 10 to 8. So I'm here in plenty of time. So I'm gonna get myself lying down on the ground here. Camera on the bean bag down nice and low. Uh, the sun's coming up that direction. I'm gonna face this direction. Uh, and see what happens. Right, I don't want to hang about too long. I also saw another tracks here a fortnight ago where that had come out of the water and eating a crab. So I'm keeping an eye out for that this morning, although the chances of seeing it at all are worse than slim, but if you're not in, you can't win. So I'm keeping an eye out for that too. Right, I'm going to get organized here. I'll update you in a wee while. Not sure if you can even see me yet or even hear me with this wind, but I'm down in, I'm lying under my net here, I'm on the mat on the ground, in the sand. Uh, I don't know why you can see out that direction or not, but... The beach is there, just in front of me. I'm first be surprised there, the morning there was two egrets dropped in. So what type of photographs or any bit of video, which I'll show you now. Uh, they didn't hang about, unfortunately, but maybe they'll be back. Nice skulls coming up the beach there now, so we'll see what happens. There's a sunrise behind me here, so running in front of me, the light should be on it. Need to kind of watch the tide too, as well. I think it's coming in now. Low tide was about an hour ago, so tides on the way in, so I might have to move back at some stage. There's a wee high bit here, I thought, but I'm not sure how long it'll give me. But anyway, we'll play it by ear, see what happens. Right, had a scramble and move there. <laughs> Tide was coming in fairly quick. This beach is fairly shallow. You know, the tide moves up very quick, so bit of a scramble there. Had to move back a bit. I did have an oyster catcher there, really close. So a wee bit of video of that. I'll stick that up and a few photographs and a gull there as well. So. Whenever I moved, I hear the curlews calling somewhere there. Whenever I moved, stuff all moved down the beach a wee bit, so I'm back in under the net here again, laying down. Staying fairly still, so we'll see if they come back this direction again there. There's actually a couple of geese dropped in there as well. But they're on down the beach a good bit now, so I'll give it a while here. Hopefully I can stay here for half an hour more before the tide comes in again. Um, and see what happens. Right.
All right, we've had a couple of curlew come in there as well. Sorry, you can't see me very well here, but stuff's fairly close and I can't move that much. And there's a group of oyster catchers out in front of me and there's three or four curlew have dropped into the middle of it, so I'm hoping I can get a shot or two of them. Let's see if I can... Well, I'll video on the other camera anyway and you'll see the video there. I also had a move again, the tide's coming in quicker and quicker, but I've bought myself another half an hour here maybe, so we'll see what, what we can do with these curlews and stuff now before I have to move again. Right, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, this net's no way kind of, but anyway, I can't really change that. <sighs> right, I had to move again. This beach is so shallow, right, the tide comes in really, really quickly, so this is my third move. And there was a god bit had just come fairly close to me too, so I got a few photographs and stuff of it, and then I nearly got wet. I lay too long, and my camouflage net's wet, my mat's wet. Bean bags wet, but anyway, nothing that can't dry. It's also flipping freezing here this morning. There's wind coming down the beach. I had to get gloves on me here when well, I took this one off to turn the GoPro on, but I had to get gloves on. And the wind's in my face here, and it's not particularly warm, but anyway, I've moved way, way, way up the beach this time. There's a wee stream across in front of me here, running down towards the sea. So I'll give it another wee while here. The sun's still nice and low coming in from behind me, so the few things I were photographing there, they look quite well actually, so we'll give it another wee while here and then it's back for coffee and get warmed up and dried. Trousers is wet too where I'm lying here and anyway. Right, you do these things. We'll give it another wee while here, see what turns up. And I'll update you in a wee while. There's still curlews calling out in front of me there. I'd love to get one really, really close, but I have a few photographs. We'll see how they turn out anyway. Right, I'm waffling. Let's go and see what happens here. from somewhere. I don't know where they're heading to, but they're away on a mission anyway. Right, 
<coughs> I've lay as long as I'm gonna lie, I'm cold lying here. There's nothing close to me at the minute anyway, so I hope you can hear me all right. Uh, you see behind me there, the sun's up, lovely here, but it's freezing. The cold wind blowing straight in my face down the beach here. So I'm gonna give up. Uh, there's my setup this morning. I'm I have a mat here for lying on, which is covered in sand and wet and camouflage net. And then I have a camera and a bean bag there and an external mic, which helps the sound. Uh, and that's the uh, Nikon Z62 and the new Nikon 180 to 600 for mirrorless. So I'm quite pleased with it so far. It's now covered in sand as well. So bit of cleaning to do when I get back. Uh, and that's the Warren Mountains in the distance. And as I say, the sun's coming up behind me there, so... It's nice, it's just cold. Right, anyway. I'll stick a few photographs and stuff up there. You've probably seen a few already at this stage. Uh, and thank you for watching, and hopefully I get a few more out. I have a lot of videos, I don't know when this is going to appear out. I have a lot of videos recorded, or parts of videos recorded, and then never got time to edit them. Editing is the biggest killer trying to get videos put together, so... We'll see how it goes. I'll try to get a few out of Red Squirrels recorded, I have... Floating Hide ones recorded, I have all sorts of stuff. I've never edited any of them, so... And even going back to Scotland in February... When I was there for six days, I done one video of the first day. <laughs> I never done any more. So, this even the problem with those is there's so many photographs to edit as well. But we'll get round it at some stage. Right, I'm waffling again. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you fancy it, and I'll see you again soon.